Hi, if you enjoy this video, please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. If you're interested in studying online with me in an interactive classroom, please don't hesitate to send me an email or contact me with, a dis with the information provided in the description box below. You can also purchase my full course in the link that is provided. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye. Hi. Today we're going to cover chapter number four, types of business organization. Now, previously we've covered chapter number three, where we talk about enterprise, where entrepreneurs who are risk takers open up new business organizations and they take on the responsibility of combining the factors of production in order to provide goods and services for the average consumer. So let's move on to the types of business organizations that they could actually go for when they're trying to set up their own enterprise. The five types of business organization in the private sector are sole traders, partnerships, private limited companies, public limited companies, and cooperatives. Now, when we say the private sector, private sector means that these are organizations that are owned by private individuals. So these private individuals make all the decisions regarding what to produce, how to produce, and for whom to produce. And private sector organizations mainly have the main goal of profit maximization. So in the private sector, we have five types of organizations. The first organization is a sole trader. So sole trader is a business that is owned and operated by an individual. So there is an individual who takes on the responsibility of all the decision making, of all the responsibilities that is that comes with a business. Say, for example, he makes the decisions regarding marketing, regarding uh, production, regarding uh, staffing recruitments, everything that it, he controls the business. So the advantages would be that think of yourself, if you own an organization by yourself, the best thing that come along with being such a small organization is that you have to comply with very few legal regulations. So when you're setting up a company or something, there are more legal paperwork that needs to be done in comparison to a sole trader. The other thing is the control over decision making. So when an individual makes a decision, there is not much to discuss with others. So he has total control over decision making. And then he also gets to benefit whatever the business succeeds in. So if he makes a profit, it all goes to him. The other thing is, because you're such a small organization, mm. you have An close individual contact cannot with customers. In that case, when you're running the organization day-to-day -day basis, you're basically coming into contact with your suppliers, customers, and all the other stakeholders. So you can necessarily adapt your business to meet customer standards very quickly because you have first-hand contact. The disadvantages, however, are 